you can call the state health department's hotline. Okay. Uh, it's open 24 seven. It is answered by real people that can help you with the questions that you have. If you suspect you have the virus, contact your doctor or your healthcare provider, and then they will take the steps to implement, to continue to address your situation. But it's important at this point in time, Shelley, that we all are prepared. Mm -hmm. We have a plan. We need to put it in action. We know that this is the plan as of today. Right. We know that things are gonna change. We know those numbers are gonna grow. And we know that we're gonna have to continue to address that, monitor it, and change our recommendations right. as need be. But for a, anyone out there who believes they have it, they go to their health provider and they go through, I know there's questions and if they answer them a certain way, then they may or may not. If they fall into that category where the further testing is required, you're saying that the testing kits are there for those who are at that point and need testing. We have, we've had enough okay. tests, we, kits. Okay. They, we don't have an abundant amount. Right. We did receive additional ones yesterday. Okay. The, the uh, governor was on the phone to the head of the CDC last night, thanked him for the kids we had, keep them coming, right. you know, because as we know that these cases are going to grow, we need to have the kids to be able Absolutely. to test okay. for them. Now this is, you know, with so many events canceling um, and uh, school staying home, but more of the, the businesses, there's gonna be a hit mm -hmm. and it's gonna be an economic hit. Will the state of Indiana, what can the state do, the governor's administration do to help soften the economic blow to these uh, businesses and uh, that are out there that are feeling the hit? Absolutely, Shelley. We know there's an economic impact. We know right. there's going to be an economic impact. That's why it is so important that Indiana has over $2 billion in reserves mm, okay. uh, because that will allow us to address the consequences of that economic impact and be able to provide the assistance to our large and small businesses and our entrepreneurs so that we can get over this. Uh, unlike our neighboring states, you know, who perhaps are a little more constrained financially, uh, Indiana is in a very enviable position uh, to be able to help come out of this. Do you know what that would look like at this time as far as being able, you know, what, what will prompt that? At what point will you say, yeah, we need to draw from that and... You know, that'll be, that's ongoing. Okay. This whole situation is very fluid. Right. That's why we're being flexible okay. uh, because we know that we have to be able to maneuver, we have to be nimble, and we have to be reacting in a very timely manner. Right. Um, you know, and it's also hitting working folks as well. You know, if they're worried they're sick, I, I know that the governor's uh, guidelines suggested that folks, if you feel sick, stay home. What is the governor doing to encourage businesses to um, make sure that their employees do that, take their sick time or get paid sick leave? Well, certainly one of his recommendations is that private industry encourage tele work. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and so that to that extent, uh, we are seeing industries and private sectors doing it all over businesses in Indiana. Uh, the state actually is doing it for their employees. So we came out with recommendations yesterday for our administrators and our agency heads and for mm -hmm. our state employees so that we can protect them. We need them to be healthy so that they can continue to serve Hoosiers here in our state. So uh, we got in this together and we're gonna work together and we're going to get out of it Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Now these, these are guidelines. Now I've had a lot of people saying, um, we've heard some folks saying that I have to do this. This is, the, but this is, these are guidelines. This is, I mean, you can't really They're enforce this, can you? They're strong recommendations. They're strong yeah. recommendations. That's where we are right now today. Yeah. And as I said, it's fluid. We're going to be flexible. There will be more recommendations coming, right. uh, probably even today. Really? Okay, well, we will keep watch. Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, thank you so much for stopping you, by Shelley. and shedding some light on this situation. And, uh, of course, we will be watching, and be sure to let us know if anything changes and new guidelines come out. And thank you for helping to educate the public with the facts. That's why we're here. Thank, thank you so you. much.